Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 2 of the Netflix Marvel original, Luke Cage. This was one of those shows where I watched a couple of episodes, and then every episode after that was essentially, okay, I guess I'll watch another one, or even worse, I was like, I'll watch 20 minutes of this now and the rest later, and before I knew it, I watched the whole season, so here we are. I wasn't a big fan of season one of Luke Cage, I was a fan of what they were trying to do, and I liked a lot of the characters on the show, and it could have been like an okay, not great season one if they hadn't done that whole weird and weak storyline with Diamondback, switching villains just for the last few episodes, that whole thing just sent the whole season off the rails for me and for a lot of people, which is a shame, because Cottonmouth was actually a pretty good villain and we didn't really get any follow through with him. The style of the show I think was great in season 1 and it's better in season 2. The music is fantastic, the whole vibe of the show feels different from other Netflix Marvel shows. All of these shows have some sort of strong connection to a place, like Daredevil with Hell's Kitchen, but Luke Cage does a better job at making you feel just how big of a role Harlem as a place uh, plays in this story. So with season 2 of Luke Cage, I feel like they improved on a lot of things. The pacing is better, the story just flows better. It definitely still suffers from what is turning out to be a staple of the Marvel Netflix shows, which is taking a 5 or 6 episode story and stretching it out to like 13 episodes, though I hear that they're finally ordering some 10 episode Marvel shows about time. The, there are definitely episodes in here, just like in any other of the Netflix Marvel shows, where we're just kind of spinning our wheels. I don't know what the politics are behind the scenes about why it has to be 13 episodes, but I think that it's clear at this point that it's just way too long for most of these stories. Season 2 also does the weird two villains thing, but it does a much better job at it than season 1. Because you still have Mariah and you have the new villain, Bushmaster, and the conflict is actually between them with Luke getting caught in the middle, trying to prevent this war from hurting the rest of Harlem. Bushmaster was awesome. In an otherwise very mediocre season, he's a fantastic character, by far the best performer on the show. All of the best scenes in this season, action scenes, dramatic scenes, all of them are with Bushmaster. And with him, they managed to do this thing where you kind of see where he's coming from and it's not just, you know, clear-cut good and evil. And while the conflict between Bushmaster and Mariah is interesting, I feel the show could have been so much stronger if they just focused on one great villain on his own, more like they did with Kilgrave in season 1 of Jessica Jones, or Fisk in season 1 of Daredevil. Mariah is an interesting character, but she also does one thing. She reacts to everything in the exact same way, and it's all delivered in the same over-the-top, almost childish tone that gets very repetitive very fast, so at some point I just tuned out whenever she came on screen. That is, until the end of the season, where it's kind of like they remember that they only have two episodes left, and okay, they're like, okay, let's do some interesting stuff real quick. Luke Cage himself is kind of a weird main character. We talked about this a little bit on another video where we talked about whether or not we need to relate or even root for our heroes. But for most of the season, he's just kind of an asshole. So at some point, I felt like Luke isn't the guy that I want to focus on for 13 hours. I didn't like the person they portray Matt Murdock to be in his show either, but I was interested in his story. And the same goes for Bushmaster. He's not a good guy, you're not necessarily rooting for him, but you're intrigued by him. And I get that with Luke, they're trying to show a journey or like an arc, but he spends so much time on the asshole part of that arc that I wasn't able to care enough by the time we got to the other end. The supporting characters are pretty great and all of them are more interesting than Luke's main story, with the exception of Mariah's daughter which I thought was just another one of those unnecessary side stories. It's an okay story, they just spend so much time on it, and I don't know if it's the actresses or 
the, the writing or the direction they got, but both of those characters felt like they belonged in a much soapier, borderline comedy parody show, except for a few genuinely powerful moments. But even those moments are undercut by how ridiculous Mariah's character is. I think it says a lot about the show that some of the better episodes are the ones with Iron Fist in them. I mean, Iron Fist still sucks, marginally less, but I'm still pretending that that show never happened. Bottom line, should you watch it? If you were a huge fan of season one, then yes, I guess. If not, not really. Bushmaster is fantastic and I enjoyed every second with him, but he's really the only saving grace for this season. Other than that, it was just kind of just another Netflix Marvel show, and a line of shows that feel like they should have been way better than they actually are, and this one is not one of the better ones in that line, unfortunately. What about you? Have you watched season two of Luke Cage? What were your thoughts about it? And are you still keeping up with the Netflix Marvel shows? Are you still getting excited about the announcements for future seasons, like the the new season of Daredevil or new season of Iron Fist or maybe even the next season of Luke Cage? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're going to be talking about spoilers, please use spoiler tags in your comments and I'd like to thank all the patrons on Patreon who are supporting this channel and if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging and I will see you next time.